Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Tulika Srivastava and in this video, we will see how we can read and write data in all tricks. So let's go. The first question is, what data can all tricks read? The files available on local system or the networked files. All tricks is very fast and efficient when it comes to reading and writing data from databases. Also, the files available on web services. Now let's see how we can connect to a file. If the file is on your local system, then you have to mention the path of the file. And also one thing to keep in your mind is the file should be unlocked. That is, it shouldn't be password protected. The path could be absolute or relative. If you provide the full path of a file that is absolute, Relative path only contains a portion of full path. Its complete location is based on its relation to the directory to which it is linking. Now let's see in Alteryx Designer which tool is used and how we use that. So to read data, we have to go to this in out tab and here we can see all those tools which are used for reading or writing data. To read data, we have the tool named input data drag and drop it to the canvas on the left panel you can see a drop down here you have to mention the path of the file you want to read or you can click on this drop down and select the type you want to read suppose i want to read .csv file then click on this .csv it will open a browse prompt where you have to select the file you want to read suppose i want to read this file just click on open defaultly absolute path is used here you can see the, the full path is selected you can also change the delimiter according to your file defaultly comma is selected in this now just let's add browse and run this to see what data is fetched If you click on browse anchor, then you can see the number of records and all the fields. Now let's read an Excel file and see what difference is there. I will just quickly drag and drop. Select my file. If you can see the type over here, after selecting Excel file, it will only display the files which are in Excel format. You also have to select sheet name to fetch the data of that tab. Now you can see the file format has changed to .xlsx where in csv it was .csv. The sheet name is displayed over here and the first 100 records are displayed here. There is also one interesting thing you can do with your data. Sometimes we get data where the headers are not present in the first line. In beginning, there are some informations like the data source, date range of that data, or uh, the client name. Totally depends on the structure of file you get. In these scenarios, you can change the start data import online. Defaultly, it is always one, but according to your data, you can change it to read the data from where your actual data begins. So this is about how we can read a single file from a single tool. What if we have to read multiple files which has same structure and have same file name with some differences. Suppose I have two files that is countries 2018 and 2019. I want to read the data of both the files but I do not want to use 
to input data tool. So to avoid such scenarios, we can read multiple files with one input data which has same structure. Why I am saying this again and again? Because the structure of the file should be the same. Also, the file names. So in this case, I have two files. The difference is only in the name where it is like 8 and 9. I want to read this file. I can do it using while characters. The first while character is asterisk, which is the star and used to replace multiple characters. The second is question mark, which represents a single character. Let's see how we can do that in all tricks. I can simply replace 8 by question mark. That is, any character can fit in over here. Let's run this and see the output. Now we can see the total records fetched are 7,56,095. Now let's do the same by using asterisk. You can totally replace the name by asterisk and run it. Choosing asterisk or question mark where to place them in the file name it totally depends on the file name, what kind of file you have, where the variation lies. It totally depends when and where you use asterisk or question mark. Now if I see the output, we have got the same records. So this is about how we read multiple files using one input data tool. Now. Coming to the next tool that is text input. Using this tool, you can create your own data set. The data type and size will be automatically based on the field values you provide. So let's see how it works. On in out tab, we can see text input tool. Drag and drop it to your canvas. And on the left panel in the configuration window, you can input your data. Suppose I want to create a data set which contains first and last name of a person. Defaultly, the header names are field 1 and field 2. If you input something on the third column, the header name would be field 3 and it goes on. You can change your header according to your data. After running this, I can see three records are read, which I had in text tool. So this is how you create your own data set inside all tricks and it automatically decides the data size and data type of the columns. Till now we have seen how we read data. Now let's see how we can view our data. We use browse tool to do this. In the same tab we have browse which I have already used in this workflow. The browse tool tells more about the data quality, some statistical aspect of the data. If on the header you see red, that is not okay. The reason could be leading or trailing white spaces. Like here, the cell has trailing spaces. On the left, you can see the red is for not okay, orange is for null, gray is for empty, and green is okay that the column values are totally fine it also provides the percentage and if you see here not okay is 33 percent and okay is 66.6 percent also if you scroll down you can see other informations also like the size of that data type which data type is being read over here the size of that data type the size of that column the number of unique values null etc Let's see how we can write data. Here you can see output data tool. Drag and drop it. You have to provide the path along with the file name. Just run it. 
and I can see a file on the path I have mentioned. Now I can see the data set I had created is in the form of a file now. Now if you want to create a file with excel format, we can do that in same fashion. And click on the extension. Type the file name. And also you have to provide the sheet name in which you want to save your data. The default option is create new sheet, but you can always go and change it according to your requirement. Generally, most of the time, two options are used that is, override sheet or append to existing sheet. So, this was all about how you can read and write data in Alteryx. In next video, we will see what data types Alteryx handles. If you have any queries, you can drop them in the comment box and, and I will try to help you as soon as possible. See you in the next video. Till then, keep learning, keep growing. Also, do not forget to like, share, comment to get the latest videos.